Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be going over a Bluetooth low energy controlled RGB LED lamp that I have right here. I'm just going to put this on my desk and have it be a nice little item to view during the day. First I'm going to be going over the different chip that I'm using in the hardware and the circuit, show you a little bit of how I constructed the 3D print, and then going through the software, the app, and the code that I wrote for the different sketches. Right now, it doesn't have any cords plugged in, but you can. There's a micro USB slot right down here. I just have it going through a generic rainbow cycle and rainbow code, but I'll show you later how you can go through different animations and control it using Bluetooth Low Energy. First, to get started, this is the Adafruit Feather Blue Fruit 32U board, which basically has Bluetooth Low Energy chip as well as LiPo battery and micro USB. For the circuit, I basically have a NeoPixel ring connected to the Blue Fruit as well as a switch to turn on and off the power. You can also attach a 3.7 volt 500 milliamp LiPo battery, which I have as well. When I was first starting off, here's an example of everything soldered together without any 3D printed casing, just running on a breadboard. Eventually, I 3D printed the case and was able to get some screws to hold the board in place, as well as notches for the wires and the RGB LED ring. On the opposite side of the micro USB port, we have the port where the switch goes. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lamp so I can show you exactly what it looks like on the inside. On the back, here's the switch, which we can use to turn it on and off. Here we have the micro USB port, so if you ever want to reprogram it, change sketches, or just have it be powered through a wall plug-in. We have the LiPo battery on top of the board, and the RGB ring on the outside. I have a diffuser plate to put over, just in the middle to hold everything in place. I then have a 3D printed top and a 3D printed diffuser for the light. I decided to print off a Sorcerer Mickey's hat because he's my favorite Disney character and he means a lot to me. It sits perfectly just in between the top and although I could glue this all down, I decided to keep it off because I wanted to show you the inside. So now you know a little bit about the board that we're using, the hardware, the circuit, and what the actual 3D printed case entails, I'll go through the app and the software sketches. So I'm going to be using Adafruit's Blue Fruit app, and I'm going to be using the color picker and the control pad. The color picker allows us to send a different code, and it'll change the RGB LED NeoPixel ring to the value of the RGB that we send it. The control pad allows us to press different buttons and send different animation states. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5, 6, 7, 8 for up, down, left, and right respectively on the control pad. Normally this app is used for things like controlling a Bluetooth low energy robot to drive it around and do different things on these buttons. But I decided to do different RGB LED animations based on the button presses. So if you look in the code that I have on my GitHub, you'll be able to tell that right here in the loop function, this color header is where we're going to get the RGB value from the color picker in the app. And the animation state right here for the buttons, this is where we're going to be getting whether it was a button pressed or released. I only set the animation state when a button was pressed and grab that and the switch calls the different color functions that I want to do. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the lamp back on. Plug it in and set up this code. All right, so now we have our new sketch uploaded. I'm able to 
show off a little bit about what we can do here. So on the Blue Fruit app, after I connect to the device, in this case our Bluetooth low energy lamp, I can either do the color picker or the control pad. Let's go to the color picker first. This will show us a little ring in which we can choose a color and then send the selected color to it. The light will receive that color and change the RGB LED ring accordingly. Not only can I choose any color in the spectrum, but I also can use this little slider to change the brightness. You can tell as I move the slider all the way down, the lamp actually is getting dimmer. Now that's cool if you wanted to send a specific color and just turn it on, but what if we want to do some different animations? Here's where I use the control pad. I'm going to go ahead and press 1 and show you some different animations that I've written. It may be a little hard to view on the camera because the lighting keeps changing. To keep it more consistent, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights and give you a better show. Here you can see different animations that I've written. They correlate to different button presses, whether they're the up, down, left, right, or one, two, three, and four. The RGB LED ring is right outside the brim of the hat, allowing me to get the most effect on the brim. It has a great effect in the room, even if it may not be looking so hot on the camera. Overall, although some animations may look really cool and flashy, to cycle through them all may be a little tedious during the day. So I think I'll just be leaving on the rainbow cycle as it looks really good. And that's basically how you can use Bluetooth Low Energy to control a different device. In this case, I'm using a lamp that's connected to lights. Hope you enjoyed. Feel free to use the code on GitHub that I put to change the different lighting animations, 3D print your own diffuser, and come up with an even better circuit for a larger lamp. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy. Till next time.